So we have some new news for The Dark Knight Rises today, or yesterday just came out, that Joseph Gordon-Levitt has officially been cast, along with Marion Cotillard. There were rumors that they both had been cast pre previously, but in unspecified roles. Now we know what roles they're playing, and we also know a little bit more about the plot now, which is interesting. Uh, and it also kind of, uh, the plot is uh, similar to something that I had suggested in the recent video. So I predicted closely to, in regards to that. Basically now what has happened is Joseph Gordon-Levitt has been cast and his role, he is playing a cop that works under Gordon in a special unit just with Gordon. He's working under him. That's fairly interesting. He's not Alberto Falcone. So Falcone is, Alberto Falcone is not in this movie. Or if he's in it, it's a different actor that we don't know about yet. That's very intriguing. Um, I think it's a good casting choice, though. I'm, I'll be interested to see what they do exactly with this character, because Joseph Gordon-Levitt, he's a really good actor, and it'd be a shame if uh, he's not given exactly a lot. But I, I, I trusted Nolan. I think he'll give him enough to do. Um, the, we also have news that uh, what's, uh, Mar Marion Cotillard has been cast as... Hold on a second. Let me get her name really quickly. It she she's playing basically a person that works on Miranda Tate, a person who works on the Wayne Enterprises board. Uh, basically, a person under Bruce Wayne or working on the board of, of uh, trustees, I guess. And that'll be uh, quite an interesting. Uh, m many people speculated that she was going to be playing Talia Al Ghul, which is of course Ra's Al Ghul's daughter from uh, Liam Neeson's daughter from Batman Begins. Um, but it, uh, And she still could be. This could be just a disguise. Like a, like Henry Ducard was a distraction slash disguise for, for who Liam Neeson really was in Batman Begins, which was Ra's al Ghul. So this will be... It'll be neat to see where it goes from here. Now, um, it, assuming that Marion Cotillard is going to be a major character in that she's given more screen time than just any other normal board of trustee member, which I'm guessing she will be because it's Marion Cotillard. Um, it'll be she. It, this now sets up what I described in my last video as a love triangle between Christian Bale, Selena Kyle, and Mary uh, Marion Cotillard's character Miranda Tate. So this will be great to see. I think I think this is what's going to happen. It's going to be a love triangle, but with two women and one man. Whereas in the last movie, it was two men and one woman with Harvey Dent and uh, Bruce Wayne and Rachel Dawes. So that is what I think is going to how how this is going to play out. Now, how do I feel about this casting choices? Like I said before, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, he's a great actor. I've seen him in. Uh, I've seen him on TV shows. I've seen him in movies. He's a great. He's a very, very good actor. He knows how to play scenes. He knows how to. Uh, he has good screen presence, and he is gonna. He's gonna be a good cop. He kind of looks like a cop already. So he's gonna. It'll be interesting to see. Maybe he'll just be a detective under Gordon. I don't know. Who knows if he's even gonna be? Who knows if if he knows like? I don't know yet. It'll just be great to see what where that goes. As far as Marion Mary Cotillard, nothing to complain about. She's an Oscar winner. She's going to be a great addition to the cast. It's just a matter of how much in, how much screen time she gets. The same thing with Joseph Gordon-Levitt. There are a lot of characters in this movie now. There's a lot of top build great actors in this movie, and it's going to be really interesting to see if Nolan goes the route of making a three-hour epic superhero movie like Watchmen was. So, I, and I have no problem with that at all. I, as long as the characters are developed, which Nolan is very capable of doing, I have no problem with these casting choices. I think, however, I think this is enough. Now, I don't think we're going to see any more characters. This is pretty much going to be it. Now, it's just on to speculating what the plot's going to be. Um, who basically is going to... Who's going to pose the biggest challenge to Batman? In between Bane and Catwoman. Um, 
or perhaps Talia Al Ghul if she if she shows up, which she might. That's a big rumor right now. Again, I think that would make sense because it would bring the story full circle. Because uh, usually, what third movies tend to do is they tend to wrap everything up and they bring major themes back from the first movie. Typically, what happens is in the second movie things get darker and uh, the situation becomes worse before it gets better, and that's a common theme throughout the Batman movies. It, it, Alfred says to Bruce in uh, The Dark Knight, he said, things were always going to get worse before they got better. So I think, we've have we seen the worst yet? I don't know. Uh, it was pretty bad with the Joker, so this will be interesting to see if we if if that was the worst or if there's going to be possibly like more like it could get even worse which it could with what uh nolan set up here um with these characters he set up bane is certainly a formidable foe to batman as is catwoman because she kind of skirts on the edges of the law um, like a lot like batman does and it'll be great to see where this goes from here uh I think this is going to be, this could, again, with all these characters, this could be the uh, better than The Dark Knight. I'm now convinced that this film, it has a lot of characters, it's going to have a lot to do to get done, but if it works, if, if it were, if everything goes right, no one could, this could be better than The Dark Knight. I'm convinced. Because there's so many characters, there's going to be so much going on in this film. If he gives enough time, for everything to develop right, it'll be great. If he doesn't, it's gonna it's not gonna be as bad as Spider-Man 3 because Nolan doesn't make bad movies, he just doesn't. But it could be borderline like as bad as I don't know, like what was it dis like Return of the Jedi was kind of disappointing, but it was still a really good movie. It was just a little bit disappointing uh, because well the Ewoks, but it was just disappointing also because they tried to it, 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 it lacked focus, which was the biggest problem with Return of the Jedi, I think, because there was too much going on between Le uh, the Millennium Falcon, uh, what was going on on Endor, and what was going on with Luke and Darth Vader and the Emperor, which I think was the should have been the focus of that movie, not everything else, but that's just my opinion. So I feel like in the dark, with this movie, The Dark Knight Rises, which I still think is a stupid title, but whatever, I'm kind of over it. If this... If Nolan gives enough, it keeps the focus of the movie on what, whatever. I don't know what the focus of the movie is going to be, but I think the folk, I think it's going to be the relationship between Bruce Wayne and Selena Kyle, and now Miranda Tate. I think that's going to be the focus of the movie, and how they, uh, how Bruce is still. Oh, this was also some of the plot details revealed that I should get into. Basically, uh, she is comforting Bruce. It says who is still getting over uh, his losses, but she doesn't really know these... I mean, she should, she could know about Rachel, I guess, but Bruce is still getting over that. That was really emotional for him, and he's still getting over Harvey Dent getting killed, Rachel dying, um, and the fact that now he's an outlaw, and he doesn't see the light at the end of the tunnel, I guess, maybe. So that's the plot that we know right now. That's it, though. Again, we don't really know much about Bane, what he's going to be doing. I've speculated that he's going to, he was going to team up with Alberto Falcone, but now that's out thrown out the window, so now I have to think of something else. I'm not sure yet at this point. Uh, again, it's all just speculation right now, but it'll be interesting to see where how Bane fits in with all this. But I'm fairly certain that what Selena Kyle and what Miranda Tate are going to be doing, again, Miranda Tate could be Talia Al Ghul, which would be a big twist. Of course, not a not a uh, surprising twist because it's being spec. It, everybody's thinking that right now. It would still be really great though because again, the League of Shadows is very important in this story of Batman. So it makes sense that you they bring it back essentially because and even if they brought back like Liam Neeson because a lot of people don't think he died. Maybe he didn't die. I I said that at the end of Batman Begins. I said maybe Liam Neeson didn't die because Ra's al Ghul is 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 kind of supernatural almost um, and he's got a bit of a, a mystique about him so maybe and it looked like he was kind of doing something when he like closed his eyes like that right before uh, he right before the train crashed and Batman begins who knows maybe he's reincarnated 
again, I, I, who, at this point, it's going to be really great to see what happens with the League of Shadows, if they bring it back, which I think they will. Um, and, and no one could throw us a complete curveball and not and uh, bring in something else completely different. Um, do I think Bane and Catwoman are going to team up? Oh, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure Catwoman is going to be, like I said, it's going to be the relationship about Bruce Wayne and Selina Kyle and the Batman and Catwoman. It's going to be a relationship story because uh, that's just how Batman and Catwoman have always been. They've always been kind of mirroring each other in in the, in um, what they who they are. They, they're split personalities. So that'll be interesting. Bane, I, I don't know still. Um, so yeah, this will be this as we continue to get news about the Dark Knight Rises. Um, I'll continue to update this, and I'm we might not get a lot of news now for a little bit because this was pretty big. This was this is, I mean, we knew these two actors were probably going to be in it. We just didn't know who they were. Now we know officially who they are. Warner Brothers released this statement, and Nolan commented on it. So this is legit. This isn't just a rumor, and um, I think that that. Uh, we're not going to hear much now for a little while because that was pretty big. Uh, we could start seeing some set pictures, though, which will be interesting now that they've decided to film in Pittsburgh. Um, so we'll, I'll, I'll keep you updated if we get any of those. And they might film in Chicago also. They might film a couple of things in Chicago, which will be great because I'm from Chicago. So um, it's always fun to have the Batman movies come back to Chicago because I think that is a, a good look for Gotham. Uh, so yeah, uh, further up and further in, we'll keep going.